what should the U.S. policy be regarding immigration? Now, my view is that the policy regarding immigration is no different than any other type of legislation that the federal government is considering. So we need to ask a much more fundamental question than the question about immigration. And that is, what should guide policymakers? What should guide legislators in making any legislative decision? Uh, about economics, about taxes, about trade, about foreign policy, about anything that the federal government is engaged in today. And I think that the principle, the principle that should guide all political decision making is a principle articulated by our founding fathers in the Declaration of Independence. In my opinion, and I believe strongly that in the opinion of Jefferson and Madison, Adams and many of the other founding fathers, the federal government exists, government exists, to serve one purpose and one purpose only. And that is to protect the individual rights of the citizens of this country, of the citizens of the United States. The only purpose government serves is to protect us from the violation of rights, the right to life, which means your right to pursue life as you see fit, to the best, to pursue the best life that you can, the right to liberty, which means that you, each one of you, has a right to think act on those thoughts in any way that you please. That's what the right to liberty means. And the right to pursue happiness. That is the right to do whatever you rationally think makes sense to achieve your happiness, including screwing up once in a while and not achieving your happiness. But you have a right to pursue that happiness. Everything the government does, everything the government does should be guided by that one principle, the protection of individual rights. And what is the one thing that can infringe on our freedom to pursue life, liberty, and happiness? The one thing that can disrupt our ability is force. So the only role government has, in my view, is to eliminate force as a factor from society. To take away the gun, <coughs> disrupting from your ability to come in and force me not to pursue a certain course that I believe is good for my life. And of course the biggest violator of individual rights in human history has been government itself. That's why we have a constitution. To limit what the government can do so that the government doesn't impede on what we as individuals can do. Now how does this all relate to immigration? Well I believe in open immigration. I believe people should be allowed into this country openly with a few exceptions at all. I believe it because we as Americans have a right, an inalienable right, to hire whoever we want to hire, for example. It is none of anybody's business, not my neighbors, and not the federal government, and not the state government, whether I choose to hire somebody from Connecticut, or from Mexico, or from Thailand. It's me pursuing my business, it's me pursuing my life, making choices about what's good for me in hiring a nanny, in hiring an employee for, for you know, here in Silicon Valley, an engineer. The government has no say in who, should have no say in who I hire. It should make no difference to them. I mean, when I hire somebody from Connecticut, somebody might lose in California. They might lose their job because I prefer somebody from Connecticut. So what? It's not the government's job to protect jobs. The government's job is to eliminate force from society. It's to eliminate the use of a fist, of a gun, of fraud. If I want to sell my house to somebody from Thailand, if I want to sell my house to somebody from Scandinavia, it's my business, nobody else's. Nobody else. It's not an issue to be put up to a majority vote. That's not what our Constitution is about. It's not an issue for government to make a decision about who I should be allowed to sell my house to and who I shouldn't. If I want to rent a hotel room to somebody, again, it's nobody's business who I rent that hotel room to. In other words, 
It is the Americans' right to deal with whoever they want to deal with as individuals. Each one of us has a right to deal with Mexicans, to deal with Thais, to deal with Chinese, to deal with Scandinavians, to deal with Israelis, to deal with people who live in Connecticut, as strange as that might That's what individual rights mean. It means that you have a right to do what you want to do as long as you're not infringing on other people, as long as you're not using force on other people. 